Hey everyone, it's Susan Jones and welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to go ahead and share a few of my favorite things winter edition. So I wanted to go ahead and talk about just a few of the things that I absolutely love to use during winter time. And if you haven't already done your Christmas shopping, these would be some great ideas for either some last minute gifts or gifts for a teacher in your life or an aunt, an uncle, a sister, a friend, a brother, anybody that likes any of the things I'm about to share. So let me quickly dive on into each of these items. So let's get started. My first winter obsession and gift idea number one is plants. Plants, plants, plants. That plant right behind me is from Bloomscape and the actual company I really want to share right now is Bloomscape. I have tons of plants around my house that I've gathered from quarantine, since the start of quarantine, and Bloomscape plants have been amazing for me. Now, this is not a sponsored video. I'm literally just sharing that I love them. I've shared Bloomscape with quite a few of my friends and actually my friend Jessica just bought me this guy. It's a little pine. It's not actually that little, but it's a pine that I keep in my living room. And it's so cute because she wanted me to have a little Christmas spirit with me throughout the year. So I'm very excited about that one. And I have, I'll insert a few pictures. I have a fiddle fig here. I have my whole bathroom. You'll see is all sorts of plants there. I have some succulents I've gotten and they just have a really great selection. And I also like them because they guarantee their plants. So it is more expensive for sure than going to a local uh, greenhouse and getting plants there, which if you have one near you, I highly recommend. But what I do like about these is they are guaranteed. So if they come and they are, you know, already have root rot or they did not travel well and you can't revive them, they will give you a brand new plant or they actually let you choose if you want to continue with that plant or if you just want money towards another plant just as large. If you or a friend also love plants, then you can check out their gift section where they have a bunch of great ideas. They have plants for beginners. They have some cute hanging baskets and they also just have a gift card. So if you have a friend who you know likes plants, but you aren't sure which types they already have or if they want like a pet friendly plant, you can actually, they can sort through and just use your gift card. Now going along with the whole plant theme, something else I absolutely love and my friend Jess who got that for me, we must have been having sort of great minds think alike because I actually sent her this cute Christmas tree from Farm Girl Flowers. Now I love buying flowers at Farm Girl Flowers. They are some of the most beautiful flowers I've ever seen. Flower delivery is not cheap. It never has been, never will be. Farm Girl Flowers is not cheap. But many of their arrangements come with a really cute vase that I love to keep and their flowers are just so beautifully done and they last a really long time. So I got her this cute little Christmas tree that she can decorate herself. They have a couple other ones up there too. Like I said, if you're thinking for holidays, uh, this cute one in this little pom-com basket, I die for. All right, winter obsession number two is for my lips. Everybody's lips in the winter, they just get dry, they get cracked. And my favorite lip balm is this one right here. It's the Burt's Bees Pomegranate one. It's moisturizing, but it's also tinted, which I love. So it always gives me a little bit of color in my lips. It smells great, tastes great. I'm not really eating it, but you know. And it just works wonderfully. So if you have somebody in your life that loves lip balm, or if you love lip balm and you wanna try some out, Burt's Bees is where it's at. If you have another recommendation, let me know in the comments, but I've probably tried it and I probably like this better. Now, my winter obsession number three is not something I've actually tried yet. So yes, let me repeat that. It's an obsession, but I haven't tried it yet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try it. Mine's coming in the mail and then I'll let you know, but I have a feeling I'm going to be obsessed because realistically my number three obsession are coffee mugs. I have a ton of them. I love collecting them from all different places that I go and that I travel to and they look really cute on the wall. My boys like to eat ice cream out of them. We love our coffee mugs. But when I asked in my Facebook group, I asked a couple teachers what they like getting for teacher gifts. I was trying to get some ideas. One of the teachers listed these hand warming mugs right here, which I have seen before, but I've never actually tried one. And so I ordered it. The teacher that actually recommended it in my Facebook group is from Oregon and the ones she was pointing out are actually made in Oregon. So I ordered one from a potter out there, which I will link down below. I did find from Googling that you can also find them on Amazon 
Amazon and plenty of other places make them, but I only imagine with how much I love regular coffee cups, how much I will love having my little hand in there, have it all warm while you drink your, drink your coffee or your tea or whatever you're having. For me, it's like hot chocolate, but I can't wait. Okay, speaking of getting all cozied up with a cup of hot cocoa, my obsession number four are cozy blankets. Oh, my number one favorite blanket, I'm going to tell you, it's a little bougie, it's very expensive, but it's so worth it. The Barefoot Dreams blanket, that is this one right here. I got one for both of my sisters for their birthdays. It is just so, so cozy and soft, and it, it makes you a little hot and sweaty, but if you like being warm, oh, it is absolutely perfect. On the much cheaper end, another blanket that is fantastic for a fraction of the price are the Eddie Bauer flannel blankets. I'll put some pictures of those right there and those you can just grab on Amazon. The Barefoot Dreams blankets, I know you can get them, they have their own website, you can get them at Nordstrom. And in fact, this one, this is white with a gray little stripe, just one gray stripe. I got that at the rack for a much discounted price. I mean, it was still probably like $80, I know, but um, it's great. All right, winter obsession number four are candles. I love the smell of candles. I especially love lighting them in the winter time, especially around the holidays. And I'm finally at the age, or my kids are at the age, that I can light a candle and not feel like I have to hover over it because I'm terrified they're gonna run around like crazy kids like they always do and knock it down and then there's gonna be a fire and Oh, that's where my mind goes. Please tell me I'm not alone, but that's usually what happens. But I feel like now my boys are a little older. I can leave a candle in the other room as long as I know it's on and not totally freak out and enjoy the scent of it. My favorite candles are the three wick ones from Bath and Body Works. I also love Yankee Candle, but I like the Bath and Body Works ones a little bit more. There's also this candle that I have not tried yet. It is called a, a Capri, a blue Capri volcano candle. I don't think that's right, I think it's some mixture of those words, but apparently it's really popular and it's supposed to smell fantastic. If you know what I'm talking about and you've tried it before, let me know down in the comments if you think I should add it to my wish list and maybe maybe my husband can get it for me or something. But I would love to try one of those out, I only hear great things. All right, and winter obsession number six, my last one for today is bath related things. So I'm gonna insert a picture right here of my bathtub again, and I just wanna tell you that I I have never been a bathtub person, but since moving to this house, since having that bathtub and quarantine, it was kind of the perfect storm of that is going to be some great stress relief for me. Some things I love using in that bath are this Dr. Teal's Eucalyptus and Mint Bubble Bath. It smells so good. It's like, it's called stress relief, I think, shocker, but it smells so good and it's so relaxing. I use that for the bubbles. I use these bath bombs. I don't actually know how to say it. It's Longels, Langels. Long, long, no, I'm not even gonna try anymore. But it's that brand. My father-in-law actually got them for me for my birthday last April. And I love those bath bombs. They smell great. Uh, there's a great variety in the 24 pack. So that is something I love. And last but not least for the bath is that tray that goes across the top. So I wasn't really sure how that would go because it looks like it just balances on top, but it's expandable so you can, it really does just balance on top and there's all these little spaces for your water bottle, for your iPad, for a book if you're reading. And I kind of just lay everything out. I pour my bubble bath, drop in my bath bomb and I am set for a good hour. And then what's great is after I get out of the bath, I get cozy in my blanket, I sit by my plants with my mug, drinking my coffee while I put on my lip balm. I think that was pretty much everything I'm obsessed with because that is really what I do all winter long. So I just thought that would be a fun little video to share with you to tell you about some of the things I love during the winter time and maybe inspire you to try some of them yourself to get a little cozy and enjoy something new. Please go ahead and leave me some of your winter obsessions down in the comments below. I love getting ideas for gifts to give to my kids' teachers and for all the people I have in my life. Or, you know, if you happen to leave a comment after Christmas, I might just use some of the gift cards or whatever I got for Christmas and buy some of your stuff. As always, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up so I know and make sure you're subscribed to my channel. See you later, guys.